The body of influence is a very useful command in the ancestor meshing. The body of influence is something, some region where we have the refined mesh and we can set the size uh, besides the size we set on the main geometry. So the body of influence is a separate geometry that is not merged or there is no shared topology with the, the main geometry. So for example here I have the wind turbine blade and uh, this is a vertical axis wind turbine and uh, I have created this uh, body influence in the in a green color and uh, how to create this body so I will tell you procedure so we have the one sketch here for this body particularly and the second body again I will choose the 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 main plane which is the XY plane right now and uh, I will click on the new sketch okay so now we have the new sketch and uh, the first body of influence uh, was made in the sketch number eight and the same procedure which I'm going to teach you in the sketch number nine the same procedure I adapted in the sketch number eight so I will go to sketching mode and uh, from here I will be drawing the few lines and this time this region would be larger than the this region so the as the size of the wake will be progressively will be increasing and so the size of the the wake region and therefore I would be making this geometry like this and then like this okay so I will be making a one vertical line and uh, you should be looking at the V symbol. V symbol denotes that the V is the vertical line and uh, then when we uh, will be merging the line with the bottom line it should show the sign C. C is a for curve. And now go to modify and uh, from here click on trim. So after trimming I want to modify maybe I want to first give some dimensions here and for that the first one would be would be like a constraint so I want to make this geometry symmetrical around x axis for that you have to choose a symmetry from constraints first choose the axis around which you want to make the body symmetric and then choose the geometrical entities one by one so now this geometry is symmetrical and the both sides have the equal length the only thing I want to specify here would be that I want to give the dimension to the number one is that the vertical dimension of uh, this point from the axis. So this line and then this point and then the axis. So the two points I will adjust them separately. So first point uh, I would be putting the value as maybe 7000 or maybe 6000, 6500. Okay, the second one I would be putting like uh, 9500. Okay, at the same time I will be modifying these dimensions as well. And now it's okay here right now this is done so I can go back and uh, from sketch number 9 I can go to the concepts and from here surface from schedule because a single is a single sketch just containing the second body of influence so just add to the base objects and from add material change this operation to add frozen so that this body will not be combined with the existing bodies over there click on generate and again go back to the sketch number 8 go to sketching mode and simply modify the this dimension so this dimension is going to be like uh, 11,000 okay so I think better thing would be that you just move this part so modify and drag this line Okay, so we have the over constraint. So to remove the constraints, I would be like go to the to the dimensions and from here click on edit. This is the over constraint model because this is the uh, on the both side we have defined these uh, values. So I just deleted this this dimension from here 
and uh, now I can go to modify and from here I can drag this geometry. Okay, so now I can change the values. So here we have the, let's say 11,000 or maybe 10,000. Okay, and just I will be applying the constraint on this point. So this point should be cons uh, con considered point. And from the constraint, we have the considered point. So I will be choosing this point first and this point as a second. So now we have the, uh, these two points are now on the single location. Now you can click on generate and go back and you can see that we have the surface number sketch 6 and surface sketch number 7 is over here. Alright. So now we have the two body of influences. So I will be putting the name as the I have already I have the three body of influence for the the these blades. And uh, now I will be putting the name for this body of influence as the so rename and the body of influence one or maybe body of influence wake one. This is a wake one. And the second body is the body of influence. Body of influence wake number two. And uh, now you can safely save the project and uh, go back to a geometry operation here and uh, simply right click on the geometry on the model and then click on geometry, update geometry from source. And you will very see that, that the, you are going to get the these two body zones over here. Okay. So we have now these two extra bodies here and for that I'm going to create the, the sizing and uh, I'll be putting the sizing as a body of influence which is here. Uh, where I want to apply this, I want to apply this in the main geometry which is over here, also here and also here. So three geometry bodies will be selected and uh, so for the first body, this is going to be the body of influence. One minute. So yes, so faces will make uh, not the body of influence, but only face sizing. So I will be deleting the sizing from here and I will choose the body operation here. And uh, okay, so I will be choosing the body first, second and third and uh, put the size from the mesh and the sizing and this sizing is going to be the body of influence and uh, which one? This one, this body over here. So maybe you can just make these bodies hidden from the view and then choose this body. Okay. Okay, so the size we have specified. So let let me let me show you all the bodies. So show all bodies, and the size over here on the second body. I want to just check that size, and uh, that size is 0 0.02. So here I would be putting a size like uh, maybe a point, uh, 0 0.04 first, and then 0 0.08 in the next body of influence. And therefore, 0 0.04. And uh, again, I will be choosing the bodies and uh, all three bodies. But let me let me see that the, this body will not be making any effect on these two bodies. So I will be only selecting one body, make the sizing, and uh, this sizing would be the the body of influence. And uh, which body is this one? This body is over here. So select the second option here and click on apply. Put size at the point 0 0.08 meters and then click on generate. Okay, so 
the this zone, these two zones where we have the body of influence for the back region, the mesh will be refined, but the rest of the region of this face will be a normal mesh like we did, we, we specified whatever size we specified on that face of, on that body. Now you can see that the how much refinement uh, we have here. So I think that the for these two regions the mesh size should be like uh, point, uh, 0.08 and the second one should be the point, uh, 0.16. And now let me again generate the mesh size on the this wind turbine model. Now this size which is uh, which I said is uh, 0 0.16 and uh, 0 0.08. This size seems okay for this uh, wake region and I think this is very uh, even fine enough for the uh, for the capturing the wake very in a proper way. So in this video basically I told you that how you can create the, the wake region using the body of influence command and then how to utilize that, that body of influence from the geometry section and how to use that, how to, how to set up that thing in the, in the ANSYS meshing. So now I, I think that the, after making this uh, type of mesh you, you should be able to get the performance and uh, the physical parameters in very with high accuracy. So thank you for watching this video and please like the video and subscribe to my channel for the more videos.